Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this presentation I'm going to explain how to use LDR instructions with Facilino. So this is the outline of the presentation. I'm first going to introduce the material that I will use for this uh, presentation and also the work instructions. Then I will explain you uh, a process for calibrating uh, the light using LDRs and then I will explain two uh, exercises. The first uh, measuring raw measurements of light and plotting them on the console and the second one is to measure a calibrated light. So first, uh, this is the standard material that we use uh, for uh, all these presentations. We're using a Wemos D1 R32 together with the Arduino multi-sensor shield. In particular in this presentation I'm going to use the LDR which is connected to A1 and these are the instructions uh, that we will use. The first one, we'll just simply, we need to indicate the pin where the, the sensor is connected, so in this case is A1, and will return us the raw value. So this is a value, in particular when using ESP32 uh, processors, is a value between 0 and 4095, so this is the raw value. This is uh, an instruction that returns this value in a percentage but it's a calibrated measurement, I will explain that later. And this is the instruction that returns the, the measurement in luxes, so it's the luminance. In order to set the percentage, we can set the maximum and the minimum lux, luxes here with these two instructions, so whatever we put the minimum will be considered 0% and when we put a value for the maximum will be considered 100%. So these uh, are the instructions that we are going to uh, use for this presentation. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, the LDR, LDR measurements, uh, they depend on the different analog values. This was the, done with an Arduino, so the, me the LDR measurements vary between 0 and one maximum 1023 uh, uh, for the analog converter. So these were the measurements that we were doing different, using different light conditions and these were the values for the luminance in luxes that we uh, sense with, uh, with a luxometer. Okay? As you can see here, the important thing is not this value here, the important thing is that this curve is clearly, clearly uh, highly exponential, so it's non-linear. And it's uh, complex to say that if we are in the light conditions, uh, if we think in terms of luxes, if we are in light conditions, with low luxes, then we have a, a huge vary here, a, a huge variation here, but then with the small variation here, then the luxes increase a lot. Okay, so this is the same picture but with log scale for the x axis and the y axis. So as you can see here, this is much easier because it corresponds to, uh, and here we, we show that we can fit this curve into what is called a rational model. So just by using these points here we can try to find out the values for these constants here and this will reproduce a model that fits our data points as you can see here. So this is the process for curve, curve calibration, so it means that whenever we get a value in, uh, in terms of luxes here or, or, uh, or uh, the, the or the, the, the raw value in, in the log scale, then we will get the, uh, the, the, the same value but represented in luxes also in log scale. So let's move to the example. So in the first example we are just simply measuring the light, so we are just simply reading the analog pin and if the value is higher than 1000 then we say okay there's too much light and if the value is below 600 then we say it's too dark. Okay? and this is just simply the first example and in the second example what we are saying is okay in our environment conditions we are saying okay this is uh, the maximum luxes that we expect so this will represent the 100 percent and these are the, these are the minimum luxes that we expect when we consider it's dark and this is uh, the raw value this is the percent value and this is the, the percent uh, the luxes uh, value of the luminance so here we just simply use this example to sh show you the different things, so this is the uncalibrated measurement and these two are calibrated measurements.
Okay, so in this presentation I have introduced you how to use LDR instructions with Facilino. Thank you very much and I hope to see you on my next videos.